In this video, I'm going to show you how to use forecasting in Tableau. I'm in version 10, but this should work on pretty much any version of Tableau around version 10. So, let's say we want to predict the future a little bit. We want to know what our sales going to be like, let's see, by order date uh, in the future. So I could left click on sales and order date while holding control. And over here in the show me, click on the line graph and we close that. Here's what our actual sales are. This is a uh, bit of descriptive statistics, um, but I want to see some good analytics. I want to see the future. So let's click on uh, analytics up here and then double click on forecast. And let me push this year out to quarter and then month. There we go. That gets rid of that major gap. And we can see here again in the solid blue, this is our actual data. And then based on the actual data, um, and the patterns over time with that data, Tableau can, through various statistical algorithms, uh, produce a forecast of what we should expect in the future. Now notice uh, we have a solid blue line going through this band of transparent blue. The transparent blue represents the confidence intervals for that blue line. So the blue line itself represents the estimate. It's sort of the average between the confidence intervals. And this is what we estimate we should observe in the future. For example, and you know what will make this easier if I go back to data and throw sales up on labels. There we go. That makes it a little easier. Okay. So, for example, if I put my mouse over this point right here, December 2015, which in this data set, uh, this time hasn't happened yet. Our data only goes up to uh, November, I think, of 2014. So we forecast, based on that data, that in December of 2015, we'll have sales of 711,000. Now that's just an estimate. You see these bands here are fairly wide. Our estimate is that we'll have about 711,000, but at 95% confidence, we could be anywhere from whatever this is up here, let's see, about 875,000 down to about 550,000. If we want to have 95% confidence in our estimate, that's how wide these bands have to be. And I'll show you how we can fiddle with that a little bit later. Um, in fact, let's just do it right now. So let's say we wanted uh, to be a little uh, less confident. I, I know that sounds ridiculous, um, but let's say we were okay with a 90% a 90 confidence level instead of 95% confidence. What would that do? Well, just conceptually, uh, if you think about it, if we're okay being a little bit less confident at the 90% level, then our estimate can be within narrower, narrower confidence intervals because we're less confident. Now, if we want to be more confident, we've got to widen these intervals in order to um, catch more possibilities. Uh, we'd be more confident if we had a wider net, essentially. Let's say you're going fishing and how confident are you you can catch a fish with a certain size net. Well, the smaller the net, the less confident. Uh, the wider the net, the more confident. <clears throat> so if we want to be more confident, like 99% confident, we'd have to have a pretty wide net to catch all these possible estimates of the future. Um, if we're okay with less confidence, we can have a much narrower net. Let me show you how we mess with that. So what we could do is just right click over here on any one of these points and go to forecast and forecast options. And then in the forecast options here, the default is to look just 13 months into the future. We can tell it to go as far as we want. I mean, we can go five years if we want. But as you can see, when we do that, in order to achieve 95% confidence, our confidence intervals are ridiculously wide. Uh, so, for example, let me just hit OK on this. Uh, let's see, this is November 2020. If we want to be 90% confident in, our, in where this point might land, uh, we could sell anywhere from 2 million down to, what is this number here, about 300,000 or 400,000. So, I mean, those are ridiculously wide confidence intervals. You'll notice, let me bring this back to uh, years, year, mm, quarter. Oops, let's go out to quarter. There we go. You'll notice as we... Uh, distance ourselves from current data, from our last data point. Our confidence intervals initially are narrow, 
but then they widen and widen and widen and widen. And the further we get in time away from this actual point, the wider our data, um, our confidence intervals have to be in order to accommodate uh, the unknown and to still achieve 95% confidence. Now again, I mentioned if we don't want to be 95% confident, we can change that back in forecast options. Down here, uh, instead of 95%, let's go to 90%. And you watch, these will narrow. They get narrower. If we want to be 99% confident, boom, they widen. So anyway, that's how you mess with forecasting in Tableau. Let me take this down because this is ridiculous. You want to see six years into the future. Let's see two years. There we go. But that's how you do it. Uh, fairly straightforward. And if you want to know for uh, like directly a specific point in the future, for example, what are our sales going to be in November of 2016? Well, let's go find November of 2016. Here's September, October, November. Here we go. November of 2016. We anticipate sale, selling about 780,000. There you go.